The Canadian head of government took to social media recently to announce his allyship with the iconic fashion doll Barbie, which has many stunned that this was the priority amid a Canada in crisis. We haven't played with Barbie since we were like five years old. Oh. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau took to social media over the weekend in support of toy fashion icon Barbie. We're Team Barbie, the government head posted on social media. Trudeau is seen posing with his son in this photo at the theatre on August the 6th. Produced by Warner Brothers, the Barbie movie was released in July and has already raked in over $1 billion in ticket sales at the global box office. Trudeau's outing occurred four days after the high-profile separation announcement between he and, I suppose, his now former wife, Sophie, after 18 years of marriage. Many, like thought leader Jordan Peterson, were surprised that this post was real and did not, in fact, come from a parody account. Critics denounced the newly released Barbie movie as nothing more than a ploy to sell merchandise, with its pop-up cafes and a Forever 21 clothing collaboration, which is unsurprising given the fact that Barbie was the original lifestyle influencer. And according to some psychologists, dolls have a big impact on how children who play with them view themselves, their sense of self, their ideas on body image, the ideal body, their self-imagery, etc., etc. So on one hand, we have Barbie, an iconic fashion toy that has been criticized for hoarding materialistic possessions, whether that be from cars to houses to clothing, and then we have, in 1994, Finnish researchers revealing that Barbie's proportions and lack of body fat would not allow for menstruation if, in fact, she were a real woman. Have a look at this clip. Although Jensen is the average height of an American woman, she has a smaller than average waist. But still, it's not nearly as thin as Barbie's. If we scale Barbie to life size, her waist would be a mere 50 centimeters, and her hips just 71 centimeters. And if Jensen had Barbie's proportions, this is what she would look like. She'd have shorter arms, a longer neck, and tiny feet. In fact, they'd be so small that she'd have trouble balancing and would be forced to walk on all fours. And then on the other hand, we have virtue-obsessed Prime Minister Justin Trudeau parading around in these crucial public engagements with gender-bending drag performers as he mingles with, for instance, the host of Canada's Drag Race, where he was even a guest of honour. In fact, he was introduced as the first ever world leader to visit a drag event. Check it out. Welcome to the Canada's Drag Race workroom, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Justin Trudeau! <laughs> Do I have to kiss? Do I have to kiss his ring? <laughs> I heard you had a summit and I think I'm a little too late for yes. it, unfortunately. Oh, now it makes sense that this want to be feminist with his out of touch frivolous demeanor must take to social media to announce his allyship with a materialistic and proportionately unhealthy representation of femininity in the form of a plastic Barbie doll from the same prime minister who has attempted to ban single-use plastics and has us all drinking out of disintegrating paper straws while he jet sets and globe trots, lecturing everyone about climate alarmism. We have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a uh, plastic, uh, sorry, away from plastic towards uh, paper. All while his marriage is in shambles as Canadians grapple with record inflation, ever-increasing interest rates, a collapsing medical system, a housing crisis, and a looming war with Russia and Ukraine that Canadian tax dollars just continue to fund seemingly unabated. No, no, this Barbie movie? That is where the Prime Minister's priorities lie. For Rebel News, I'm Tamara Ugolini. The Trudeau Liberals appear to have another priority, and that's regulation of the internet through ambiguously worded legislation like Bill C-11 and Bill C-18. If you would like to stay up to date with what the government is doing to moderate the content that you can easily access online, 
then you can head over to our special website at stopthecensorship.com. There you can check out all of our reports. You can also sign our petition demanding that the Liberals repeal their heavy-handed regulations, like I mentioned, C-18 and C-11. That's stopthecensorship.com.